All right, here we are. Two Borg Warner gas fired furnaces. I'm trying to take the sticker off for one of the YouTube subscribers. Well, one hand, Mike will do that later. Take both these out, and we're gonna put in two carriers. This is an emergency install, so I'll have to custom fabricate the ductwork for the supply transitions on top, and then insulate it. So, not too shabby. Stay tuned. All right. Nine o'clock. Godzilla just finished cleaning up the floor. Looks nice. Both furnaces are in the truck. And we're gonna put these together now. All right. I have to uh, custom fabricate ductwork, as you can see. There's one of four on the first furnace. I'll show you how I do that right now. Oh, Sharpie. Some of you people are probably gonna be hating, but let the haters hate. Uh, I'm still making the paper. <laughs> you know, so here's a piece of sheet metal. I have some mark outs here. This is my top, and this is gonna be the bottom. And I put a one inch flange there. So here is my mark on the, on the uh, bottom right hand side of the furnace, the front, right? And this is the mark on the top of the supply plenum that I have to make up to. I'm gonna measure an inch off of here, and then I'm gonna cut there, and then we'll put a flange on it. On the opposite side here as well, an inch from there, an inch from here, and put a one inch flange on it. So I made a mark. That's my start point, is my end point. Start point, end point, then we'll make a flange. I got some Milwaukee. There you have it, it's the front of the furnace. Okay. All right, plenum for first floor furnace is done. Even insulated it. Made a little offset there, as you can see. And now we're walk working on the four inch flue pipe for the exhaust. The gas is done. We're gonna do the wiring and thermostat and we'll fire it up. We're starting to work on the other furnace. We have to make up a piece for the return plenum right there and the supply. All right, stay tuned. All right, we've got Kelvin working on this piece of sheet metal. He's gonna put a one inch flange on it. I think this is his first time ever doing it. 
I know you see me do it a few times. Go up a little bit. I'm gonna put some muscles into it. Go to the end. Don't do it all at once. You gotta gradually go across. Watch the end of that sheet metal, it's sharp. Keep going to the end. Now go back to the other end and gradually bend the whole thing because it's only a 24 inch. Now go back to the other end. Slow and steady wins the race. Keep going. All right, we're starting the other side now. I got my first piece in. We're dead vertical, perfect. We're gonna have to make up a transition over there. Not fun, especially not fun with an emergency retrofit. It is what it is. And I didn't wanna use the old filter racks because he never really changes them. So we have a little bit more separation here because these are 17 inch models going to 19 inches on top square. So we made this one. Now we do this one. I'm gonna do the electric right now on this. We'll bring over the switch to there. something out with this that sucks a little short mama steven didn't i ask him to do this like 10 minutes ago and he's still putzing around with that plate oh my god finally got one screw in but is the bottom in no it's not <laughs> calvin before you before you spend waste more time doing this, because you already I know you like doing things twice. Like you redid the thermostat wire twice. Look at the other one. See this, Kelvin? Why is it yours like that? See? Now put the screw in on top. There's three screws on two on top, one on the top left side. Jesus Christ, I swear I, I hire him from the group home. Are you from the group home, Kelvin? No comment. That means it's a yes. I'll take that as a yes. He just doesn't get it. What? Yeah. Look at the insulation on there. Let me show you how. Oh, I'm. No, I was Santa Claus today, right? Yeah, you Santa Claus today. Here, do the honor. Calvin, pay attention, Calvin. How did you, how did you do that, Calvin? I didn't do anything, that's, the, right on an angle and I didn't get off. Kevin's like, yeah, see what it's We're gonna get that right now. What do you got on your stopwatch right now, Kevin? Oh, I got it on a minute or something. Um, one screw. Oh, 
Where's the other screw, Calvin? <laughs> You're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to fucking get embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I had, so I'm an equal opportunity employer. Sure. So Kelvin wired the low voltage control wiring on that furnace to right there. There's a splice there. And we have R and W, red and white, right? Go to R and W. And here, when we turn the furnace on, we're getting an error code. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, I turned the switch off. No, oh, it's on. One, two, three, four. One, two. So if you look there, two, four, secondary voltage fuse is open. Check for sure, secondary uh, voltage, 24 volt wire. So let's see his mistake, ladies and gentlemen. And now let's have Steven take a look what his mistake was. Look. Huh? What did you wire it to? That's C? That's C. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah, that was fucking stupid. <laughs> and here's the end result. One o'clock. Two ninety percent. Sorry. Two eighty percent. 90,000 BTU carrier furnaces with carrier media filters, insulated, done. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you clean up all your garbage. Voila. No more Borg Warner. Some lucky YouTube uh, subscriber is gonna get this in the mail wanted it and I'm gonna send it to him Borg Warner York Pennsylvania manufactured by the York division these guys make transmissions now <laughs> anyway season's greetings from my family to yours be well be safe God bless America